Hello, I'm Florian Friedrich and I will show you how to use the chromaticity diagram feature of HDR Master version 2. First of all, I, op I will open a file sequence, in this case a TIFF sequence, but it could be an EXR sequence, DNG sequence, uh, DPX sequence as well, or you could simply open um, MPEG-4 files, HEVC files. Okay, now that it's open, we open the analyzer window and select, I'm changing analyzers here, and select the CIE diagram, chromaticity diagram, sorry. So, first of all, you can see a diagram here with um, three different color gamuts. One is the BT2020 color gamut, uh, the yellow one, you see the legend here, and one is the DCIP3, and the inner green one is 709. So in this case, we can see that most of the content is within the DCIP3 limitations and we are not pushing out to 2020. Let me start the video for you. So you can see it is actualized, it is updated for each and every frame. And um, we have different presets. So for example, if you want to see it in a UV diagram instead, we just switch the preset and I also have a preset that is like a station logo for quick control of what's going on in the signal. And of course, you're always able to change it according to your needs. Let's take a look at the different sections here. Export image means that the current image um, is being exported, so you can report any issues like exceeding color gamuts massively or so to the customer. And then the next thing is, of course, um, selecting the presets, saving presets, so you can define your very own presets. Uh, in this section of area selection, you are able to select a area of interest and do the analysis only for that area. But uh, for the time being, let's analyze the whole frame. And in the calculate mode, we have a different settings. Um, for example, if it's not a video delivery, which is in legal or narrow range normally, we can use full range. And of course, that will affect the levels uh, and the chromaticity coordinates. Also, we're able to change the container. Uh, so that, uh, not much to see here, but it's changing, believe me, it's changing. So everything is in the 709 space here because we selected the 709 gamut, right? Once we select the 2020 gamut, it pushes out. But that's only for the internal calculation. It doesn't change the signal. HDR nev master never changes uh, the signal. It's only a way of looking at different uh, decoding parameters, how the signal is handled. The next section we have here is overlay information, which allows us to freely configure the look and feel of the diagram. So you know, we can change all different aspects, font color, and the position, upper right, the size, and then if we want to control what's uh, seen in the diagram itself, we have uh, more options here under reference data. So we can hide specific elements, legend, scale numbers, also the white point, gamut and the spectral locus. So now we only see all the colors of the pixels. You know, that's an extreme of course, but yeah, we can freely configure what we see here. Okay, uh, let's switch back to a preset, to a preset that is meaningful and look at other options. Here in diagram options, we have the mode, two modes available, XY, CAP Y and lightness UV. But 
I prefer to look at the XY cap by right now. It allows us to define a minimum. So for example, if I define one here, in this case, it would be one nit as a minimum. We don't see any color information that is below one nit, which is quite helpful. For example, if you don't want to see the color of the noise in the shadows. So maybe because that's not very relevant to us. Also, highlights might not be very relevant to us. So we can influence these values. And then, of course, we can scale the diagram according to our needs. And set the intervals, the number of um, sub intervals in between the intervals. So in this case, we are able to look at specific sections more, more closely. Setting it back to the default, I think that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun with HDR Master. Thank you and goodbye.